Today, we're going to be looking at cloud code. So if this is like a new application that you haven't run a cloud in first, you would do slash in it. And this is going to create a cloud MD file. So you can see here that it produces a file with kind of the architecture, how to run the application, the technologies. Cloud will generate this and then you can continue to add to this as you go or have cloud add to this to create a living document for your application. So we want to build a place where people can come and view properties that they could potentially buy. So I created this marketplace MD document with a list of requirements that we need. So let's write our prompt. It's like any kind of AI solution. You write the prompt and you can actually reference files, even though you don't have the ID experience, you just do at, and then you can say, write the file name. So here I want to reference marketplace MD. And if we go look in that document, yeah, you can see we're just defining like the filters that we want, the key components, like a search bar, autocomplete, a map view, property cards. So we have our prompt. So this is cool. You can see the time it's taking and then how many tokens it's actually utilizing. It's going to start looking at what we already have. And you can just see it going through, analyzing all the files. And you can hit control R to expand it. And this is going to give you more information so you can see like the actual individual costs of each request although there is a cost like i'm not paying that because i'm on that monthly plan so i get unlimited usage and this makes sense honestly before i subscribed i used it for 30 minutes and i accumulated like five dollars in cost it's quite expensive without a plan and now you can see it has this kind of to-do list for itself. Now it's going to go create marketplace index page with property listing. Okay. So yeah, it seems like I went through those, wrote the code quite quick. So created this, yeah, marketplace index file. So where the properties are created our SAS file, adding property filter. And again, you can expand at any time to see the expanded version of what it's doing. You can see here all the code it added in this new CSS file. Just the amount of code that these AI solutions can write is crazy. Think about how long this would have taken you to write. This is what I was able to have it build now. So it works quite well. There were a few bugs that I had to work through, but it's quite functional now and I can interact with the map and click on the different groupings of properties and we'll expand. And then if I click on the property, it'll bring me to the property detail page. Then I can also click on the actual cards and it's going to show me where they are on the map. Some are showing up in the ocean for some reason or the water. I'm not sure why, but yeah, just another bug to fix. But all in all, pretty impressive on the kind of first few prompts, what I was to achieve.